everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends 6 inch Deadpool back in black figure from Hasbro. Now, this figure is being sold as a GameStop exclusive. It comes packaged in similar looking packaging that we see with most of the Marvel Legends. Up at the top, you've got the Marvel Legends series logo, and then you've got the figure clearly displayed. Now, down below, you've got some disco-like graphics, and it says Deadpool Back in Black, which is the logo that was used in the comic book series that this figure was based on. And then on the side, you've got an image, kind of a cartoony image of Deadpool. Looks like he's shooting a web. Same on the other side. And then on the back of the packaging, you have an image of the actual figure and a brief bio in multiple languages. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the other contents. Now, all the accessories are stuff that we've seen before with previous figures. So these tentacles that attach to the figure's back, these were originally included with the Agent Venom figure, the Walgreens exclusive version. This extra head sculpt was is a repaint of the one that was included with the Superior Spider-Man Venom figure. Then we've got these extra set of hands, which were originally included with the Carnage figure. We've got these swords. These are the same swords that were issued with the regular Deadpool figure, only now you've got the translucent pink blades with them. And then you get this extra hand, which I'm sure we've seen before. But again, nothing really new here that we haven't seen on other figures in the and past. Like I mentioned, with the tentacle arms, you just plug them into the figure's back. He's got a hole on there, and you've got the little peg there, and you just uh, push it in. It doesn't really matter which side. You can put either these arms on the top or on the bottom. It really doesn't matter. As far as him holding, like, you know, his swords and stuff, you can kind of sit them in there, but he's not going to hold them too tight. You know, if you start shaking the figure, those are going to definitely fall out. And he doesn't come with any weapons like guns or anything so you'd have to pull a gun from a previous figure but you could have him hold those as well like you see him in the comic book. And switching out the head is easy you just pop off the head you want to replace you've got the ball joint and then you just plug in the head you want to replace it with you may have to turn it a little bit to get it to snap in but once it does it does fit nice and tight and then again this head sculpt is a repaint from the one that we saw with the superior Venom Spider-Man figure without the webbings and stuff, but you got the teeth that, which are sculpted and painted and you got some pink there and then you've got the white around the eyes and everything. So pretty cool. And then again with the hand, so he comes with a web shooting hand for the right hand and then just a grip hand. And then they've given you just a regular grip hand to replace that web shooting hand or they've given you venom type hands, which again are just repainted carnage hands with the big uh, claws and everything. And to pop out the hands, you just pop them off and you can pop in the new hands whichever ones you want to use and so you can give them a, a very venomized look with the hands and the head sculpt. So for the figure itself we've seen this mold many times including the recent X-Force Deadpool figure same one same feet and everything which is a little bit different than the one that was used with the regular Deadpool you, know, you had different uh, lower uh, feet with that one, but it is pretty much the exact same body as the X-Force Deadpool figure. Now the head sculpt is different, and I'm sure this is a repainted head sculpt. I, I haven't taken the time to match it. Pro I'm thinking maybe Blizzard or something like that, but this definitely, I'm sure we've seen that. It's not the head sculpt, though, that's come with in any of the previous Deadpools because you don't have the little tip on the mask, and they basically just painted these white spots around his eyes, and he's got the black eyes, and the rest of the mask is just black. So nice detailing there and the basic paint applications, but you've got the black and the white, which pretty clean overall. You got the hole in the back and then he's got the belt paint, the Deadpool belt, which is painted on there with some metallic silver and black. And then again, just white and black down the legs. Now I do want to note that I have a little bit of bleeding of black through the white here on his leg and some scratch marks here. So Maybe a little bit on this side, a couple scratches here on this side. Otherwise, the paint is pretty solid, but I did want to point that out with the bleeding of the black through the white there. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, this version of Deadpool, this is based on the story called Back in Black. And as it goes, after the alien symbiote left Peter Parker the first time, you know, from the bell tower and everything, before he actually ended up merging with Eddie Brock, he actually encountered Wade and they merged together for a while and went on, on 
on some adventures. And so basically that's what this suit is based on. So this figure stands just a little bit under six and a half inches tall. And here's a comparison with Hasbro's other two most recent Deadpool figures. So we've got the Hascon exclusive X-Force Deadpool and then the regular X-Men Deadpool. And of course we've got a fourth Deadpool coming pretty soon in the upcoming Deadpool Marvel Legends wave. And then here's a comparison with Hasbro's recent black costume Spider-Man figure and Eddie Brock Venom figure. So for articulation you can turn the head to the left and to the right. He can look down good and he can look up good. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulder so you can get his arm out good. Has good rotation, has a bicep swivel, has a double hinged elbow so good bending there at the elbow, has rotation at the wrist, hinges on the hands so good up and down movement with the hands. Has an ab crunch joint so can crunch down about that much and can look back about that much and then has a waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints so can do the splits about that much can get the leg forward pretty good and can do the leg out and back, has a thigh swivel, has a double jointed knee so good bending at the knee, has a boot cuff swivel, has hinges on the feet so up and down movement and does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Well, that's my review. So overall, you know, nothing really new with this figure, the accessories we've seen before, the figure itself we've seen before. But I do like this look for Deadpool, you know, it's kind of a cool slant to the Deadpool character. Now other than a little bit of the bleeding of black through the white, I think it's a pretty solid looking figure and the accessories do work pretty well with the figure. So if you're a fan of Deadpool or you like the back and black storyline, this is one you'll definitely want to check out. Now this figure is a GameStop exclusive and is available now. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. If you like the city backdrop that's featured in this video, be sure to check out ReadySets.com. They're the ones that make that. It's a huge pop-up cityscape type diorama. I did a review of it a couple weeks ago. I'll put a link to my review of that in the video description as well as a link to ReadySets.com if you want to check them out. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And also, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.